Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Children of all ages. We are here with another episode of the Miles Four Podcast with a week of Not Scary Farm. A week of Not Scary Farm. Um, don't know how, again, don't know how Halloween Horror Nights was because I haven't been yet. Yes, but I'm imagining it has been. It's probably amazing. Fantastic. I've heard good things. It so. has been killer. Killer. With all of us. Yes. And I'm sure there was thousands of corpses scared. And it was very strange. With a lot of ghosts. And I'm sure it was hell. Hell. What a curse to be there, right? Yeah. We're just doing puns. I'm sure the last thing you did was walk out dead. Yep. I'm sure I met a couple of people. Yes. I don't, is, are we missing any? Let us know in the comments. It was. <laughs> I met a lot of creeps there. Oh, that's what we did. It was a great show, right? It was a great show. Huh. Uh, yeah, we're, we're sorry for the puns. We uh, we don't have lives. But no. anyway, we're back with another episode of Miles Hard Podcast. Back to the roots. Um, back to the again. roots. We're going to do some news for you guys today. Some good news. A lot of good news that came out of uh, yeah. this last week. But uh, we'll start it off with uh, one of our favorites returning to cinemas, September 27th. September 27th. The original 1970s <laughs> Halloween. Yes, 1978 Halloween. John Starring... Carter. Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. The original Scream Queen. The original Scream Queen. Yes. Um, yeah, that's going to be cool. Got seeing Halloween coming back to theaters. I know Mike will for sure want to see that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I really want to watch it because... We never got to experience it. Yeah, I've never it. got to see it in the theaters. Yeah, so that'd be fun. Yeah. And, like, you know, it's funny. When I bring it up to my dad, like, when a, when a movie's returning or something, he always gives me shit like, why are you going to go see it in theaters when you can just watch it at home? It's like, uh, just for that experience. Yeah, I mean, but, I mean... With your screen in your living room, it's almost like you're in the theater. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's I don't got Dolby Atmos freaking mm-hmm. all around. All around. Or freaking, I don't got loud ass speakers. Like, True. if I had the loud ass speakers, then it'd be a different story. Yeah. But, no, yeah, uh, Halloween returning to theaters, I think that's awesome. Especially because uh, earlier this year at Comic Con, they announced for the two sequels coming out. Yes, for definitely. Halloween 2018. So, so we'll get our Halloween dose this year. Yeah, I think that's their kind of way of to keep the Michael yeah. Myers alive is to, like, until we release a new movie next year. This is what you guys are getting this year. You know what would have been really cool is if they did a double feature. Yeah, well, either yeah, either that or if they do Halloween 1 and Halloween 2. But yeah, I could see Halloween yeah. and Halloween 2018 would be cool. That'd too. be really cool. Yeah, I'd be down for that. I'd yeah. be really down for that. And Blumhouse would make a ton of money off that. Yeah, but they'd have to split the profits with whoever's the original producing. I don't company. remember who is for the original Halloween. But I know Halloween yeah. 2 is uh, universal. Okay. So that's good. But yeah, we're definitely going to probably go check that out. Definitely. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep you guys updated. We'll keep you in the Last loop. of Us 2. Have you played Last of Us 1? Yes, I did. It was one of the um, few games that I've played that is a PlayStation exclusive. Definitely. Um, um, and that game was a lot of fun. Definitely. I, I uh, It was hard, but it was a lot of fun. That's what she said. Uh, I agree about it being fun. I didn't find any difficulties with the game, though. I really enjoyed it. I love the story of... Uh, Ellie and uh, Joel. Yes, that's their names. And uh, they they uh, they have a good chemistry in the game, and it, that's duly because in the beginning of the game, spoilers if you guys haven't played it. Yeah. But in the beginning of the game, Joel loses his wife or his, yeah. uh, his daughter. Yeah. And um, he finds kind of that daughter figure in Ellie. Definitely, he does. Um, what well, I guess there was a couple things that were hard for me. It's because I guess it was like the ammo situation. Because you have to be conservative on your ammo. Yeah, that was kind of a pain in the ass. But and there was I a couple liked, of the boss fights that were a little hard. I liked that because it was a challenge. And yeah, it was challenging. It wasn't like it was unbeatable. There was one fight that took me like 
an hour and a half. And I remember my grandma was watching me, and she was like, can you just beat this damn level already? <laughs> she was getting frustrated like you were. Yeah. I've been through that. Uh, yeah. She's time. like, try this, try that. I was like, grandma, how do you know all these strats? Did, do you want to play? <laughs> yeah. You just hand her the control, she beats it. Like yeah, that. nothing. Oh, this is a walk in the park. Uh, but the reason why we bring up Last of Us, because Last of Us 2 press event is going to be happening on September 24th. That is true. Which is actually next Monday. Next Monday, yeah. Um, and that's exciting because the last thing we saw from Last of Us was, I think, not this E3, but the last E3. So two two E3s ago. Yeah. They had a – Sony um, did a, a like a, a – teaser, right? Yeah, but they had like a church kind of pew in yeah. a way, like a church-style teaser, and it showed that uh, Ellie was a lesbian. Yeah, I remember that. There. So she came out as a lesbian. That was controversial. Yeah, that was. I don't yeah. – I mean, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's just original, a game. It's original concept, so yeah. they can do whatever they want with those characters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it shows Ellie with her new partner and stuff, and that's all we saw from that. Yeah, I wonder uh, if we're gonna have is Joel going to be in the game. Joel's gonna be in the game. Actually, another trailer that we saw was with Ellie and Joel. I think like Ellie or Joel was playing guitar. Oh, that's cool. And like that was like the first when they announced it. Yeah. Um, Troy Baker, of course, coming back to play Joel. He he's a great voice actor. Great. Definitely. Uh, great actor in general. Um, he's a tall guy too. I've seen him at a comic con. Oh wow. Very tall. But yeah, I'm excited for it though because I really want to play it, and I may get a PlayStation. Or you can come over here and we can. Play together, yeah. Do a walkthrough on the yeah. channel. On the channel, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm hoping at the media event we get the release date, or if yeah. we get uh, a new a new trailer. A uh, I hope both. I hope we get both. Yeah, and a lot of people are saying that uh, this might go straight to PlayStation Five, which is coming out next year. I'm hearing it's going to be on PlayStation Four though. Yeah, I, mean, I'm, I feel like they'll do the same thing they did with PlayStation Three though, because that's what it was originally released. Yeah, on. and then just re-release it for PlayStation, PlayStation 5, Five. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that would that would just boost sales for them too, because yeah. at that point, at that time, if it comes out, it's rumored to come out February twenty twenty. Yeah, that's what I was hearing. But um, <coughs> at that Excuse point, me. if that's true, then by the time it comes out for PlayStation Five, it can come out for uh, like a Game of the Year edition. Yeah, which will come out with all the DLC. And, and I'm everything. sure it will be the Game of the Year because that game was probably going to be phenomenal. Yeah, they and they and. I, with a game like this, they've taken their time. It's like yeah. they're not like Call of Duty and they're rushing them out every year. Yeah. Like the first Last of Us came out in like 2000, like what, 15, 14? Something like that. It's yeah. been a while. And now they're like they're taking their time. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this press event. I hope they. I think they're gonna be live streaming it, and uh, I can't wait to see what. Yeah, they have I'm to excited offer. to see what the uh, what the announcements are. Definitely. Crypt TV, our, our good friends at Crypt TV. Yes. Uh, for the for the, I remember in the beginning of the podcast, we used to do a segment on the on Crypt TV called uh, "This Week on Crypt TV." We'd watch a bunch of their videos, and they gave us permission to actually use the videos in our, oh, in wow. our podcast. I think I want to bring that back pretty soon. Yeah, that's really cool. Maybe uh, next week's episode fifty five, we'll bring it back. Maybe yeah, if we if we can use their videos, would that be cool? No, yeah, and they were cool with it, and I'll and I'll go, I'll reach out to them to see if, and I think it's just viewership for them, so it gets their yeah. name out more. But uh, we'll hook it up to the TV and we'll start watching. Uh, uh, our, we'll look at all the videos that came out on Crypt TV this week and we'll choose yeah. our favorite. Choose a favorite, yeah. yeah. Um, but Crypt TV and Gems are going to partner together to make a short film of a remake of a classic film called 13 Ghosts. Yes, I'm really excited for that. Did you watch the original 13 Ghosts that came out in like, the 90s? I did watch the one that came out in the 90s. I did not watch the one that came out in like 1950s. The 90s one is good. The 90s one was pretty good. It was It was like gory you and You know, you know and you know why I picked this? Why? Big shout out here. This is Cammy's favorite scary movie. Nice. That's what she told me, I think, from what I remember. Nice. But I don't remember things. It though. might be Killer Clowns now though, cuz of me. Oh, that's true. I I know it's up there. And so I was like, "Oh my god, look at they're going to be doing a, a remake a for little Crypt TV." little 10 minute short thing for Crypt. I'm excited to see it cuz Crypt TV's actually been on a roll lately with their Monster Universe. Oh, have they? Yeah, they've been on a roll. They're they're establishing a Monster Universe for their uh for their, you know, channel. Yeah. And uh there's rumor and there's a lot of fans that want to see a Crypt TV maze at the HHN event one year. That'd be cool. Cuz I know they collab with Eli Roth a lot, who actually is the guy who owns the channel. Oh really? Yeah, Eli Roth runs that company. So they they during like so like if we go to Horror Nights maybe when we're waiting in line for like us and Chris of Pandora's box since that's in the tram area, maybe on the on the monitors they'll be playing a lot of Crypt TV shorts. That'd be really cool. Uh, you know, I were they the ones that had like that table set up with the Yeah, the Mordeo? Yeah, the Mordeo, yeah. yeah. That was Dead pretty Meat crazy. James collabs with them a lot. Um yeah. 
and he's actually been in uh, Look See, I believe, or the Mordeo. I don't remember, but he was he actually cameoed in a couple videos of theirs. Oh wow, that's really cool. So yeah, good for Jimmy James. That's one of our favorites on the channel. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this Thirteen Goes re remake uh, of the short film. I, I can't wait to see what they do, what they use, and if they're gonna go practical. Yeah, we'll see what will. we'll see what happens because. The 90s one was pretty interesting. It was yeah. pretty scary. So I'm gonna, excited to see what they're able to do in 10 minutes, especially because I've never seen anything Crypt TV related. Crypt TV's good. And if you're saying it's high quality, then I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a good product. Yeah, they make uh, they make good stuff. In the beginning, it was all like original stuff, but then they established some good monsters, and they yeah. actually told stories with these monsters. And now they're establishing a monster universe, which it's really good. It's always a good idea to keep uh, keep on building, keep the original ideas flowing. And exactly. Especially because we live in a day and age where like universes are a thing now. Yeah. So... Six Flags Fright Fest. Yes, the 30 hour coffin, coffin challenge. challenge. Now, when I heard about when you sent me this the other day, I was like it's like this is insane. What do you got to do? It's a cash prize and there's a lot of stuff that you have to do and Yeah. So this is the second year they're doing it based on my, yeah, my so understanding. From and the they're making it a hell of a lot more difficult this year. Let me bring up just the the stuff that you that yeah. they're going to be doing. So last year they just did it. Like there was a thirty uh, there was thirty hour coffin challenge. There was no, you know, there was no things to it other than you have to stay in the coffin. You get um, a certain amount of restroom breaks, certain amount of restroom breaks and phone breaks. But yeah, uh, for the most part, you just got to stay in the coffin. They yeah. didn't, they, there was no twists and turns to it. That was just it. yeah. And, and everyone, everyone lasted. Everyone lasted, so they yeah. couldn't decide on a winner. So they just gave it. They split the whatever the prize was. They split it. Equally. Yeah, I think so, all of them ended up with like passes to. Yeah. Fright Fest Fright and, fest and stuff like a that. certain amount of cash. This year, however, they're creating a point system. They are creating. So this is what it is. So this is ex if you guys want to participate in the coffin challenge, which a lot of people have signed up for over 4000 submissions and they only choose a couple of you. <laughs> yeah, so. they choose like five. So uh, it's by random. It's still, uh, it's still open, though, as this podcast. Yeah. So if you guys want to sign up for it uh, and test your luck, good luck. But this is what you're going to have to go through if you go through that coffin yeah. challenge. For one, it's a 30-hour coffin challenge, so it's going to be uncomfortable. However, it's not what you think. So it's going to be a fully covered coffin lid with a small mesh hole for an ultra-claustrophobic feeling. Yes. So that Because they can't put you in a coffin yeah, all directly. the way because so you'll die. Basically, your head will be the only thing that's going to breathe fresh air. Yeah. So that's cool. There's going to be games that include live bugs, uh, pungent food, items, and trivia to earn points, penalties, and... A get out of the coffin card. Yeah. So I'm assuming that get out of the coffin card is going to be like kind of you can use it to your advantage where like other people have to stay in the coffin, but you have that card in order to get out to like go to the restroom or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, you. it's like probably like an extra break basically. Yeah. And I, I'm assuming they're not going to be giving those out like crazy. No. It's going to be like you're, the, I can see like throughout the entire event, maybe one, maybe, maybe two, maybe like three. Three tops. Because yeah, it's, it's especially 30 hours, like every 10 hours they can give away one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if they really want to be stingy with it. Uh, you're going to get fewer bathroom stretch and phone breaks. Uh, coffin dwellers will be permitted to leave the coffin once for 13 minutes every three hours to use the restroom yeah. or their phones. Every three hours, Sammy. So I know definitely you wouldn't be able to do that. No, I would not be able to. And, and if you're, if you're going to be smart about it, and I don't know how, how the rules are with this, but I would tie like a bag to my leg to – in. Yeah, I don't know what the rules are with that. I think it's more of you got to be smart and not drink a lot. Drink a lot. I mean, it's 30 hours though, so you're going to need some type of food and water. Yeah. At the very least. Um, then it says sleep to deprive, deprive, deprivation. Deprivation, deprivation. meaning they're going to try to keep you awake. With yacht, uh, yacht rock and songs like Baby Shark on repeat during overnight hours. Yes. So, I mean, are you not allowed to sleep at all? Well, the thing is, is I like I think a lot of people ended up falling asleep last year. And so what they're trying to do is make it hard. So you can sleep. We're just going to blast music while yeah. you sleep. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I'll still sleep. You know I'll fall asleep. Yeah, I'll still fall asleep. Uh, and then it says applications accepted from individuals and pairs who want to uh, conquer the event together. And guest uh, Amensi Butch Patrick who starred in Eddie and the Munsters will host the challenges. Yeah. The Munsters trivia and the raising of the dead ceremony for any survivors on October 14th. Yeah. So if you want to sign up for this uh, coffin challenge, 
Uh, you have to complete your application by September 22nd. So you have a few days. And it's going to be on www.sixflags.com slash greatadventures slash coffin challenge. Yeah. And then the finalists will be chosen the week of September 23rd. The event will begin Sunday, October 13th at 1 p.m. with the lane to rest ceremony and conclude on Monday, October 14th at 7 p.m. with the raising from the dead ceremony. And I think it's live streamed, too. So, yeah, if you guys want to check it out, uh, it's going to be on for, like I said, it's a 30-hour event. So that's a day and what? Six hours. Six hours. So. Yeah. Uh, definitely check in on these people to see how they do it. It looks awesome. There's footage from last year's challenge, so if you guys want to see what it's like, yeah. they're stepping up the game this year. So yeah, they're trying to make it hard. They're gonna have scare actors. The, thing, gonna the thing that that gets me is I won't be able to do the live bugs. I just won't. Yeah. Well, you can you can cop out of it, but you're not gonna get the points for it. Exactly. So I don't think I don't. That's the only thing is like yeah. I would have to man up just to do that. Yeah. And I would just have to close my eyes and just kind of think of other things. But there's yeah. gonna be it's, it's, it's gonna be like Fear Factor in a way. Yeah, I mean, they're just really trying to – they're like, we need entertainment. We need content. We need to make this harder so people don't give free shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, our, and a favorite event of ours is returning in Los Angeles. Who is it? I Like Scary Movies. Is that right? It's doing an encore presentation of their um, exhibit at a new location and adding a new exhibit Friday the 13th. Wow. So – we're definitely going to go check that out. I think on October 5th we're going to try to go. Yeah, that's the plan. And uh, we're going to go return. We're going to film a, a video for you guys on that and you know, walk through it, take photos again. We're going to invite Robert this time, so he'll do the photography. Yeah, while so I, I, don't do have the, to, I don't have to do videos. Well, I can do the cinematography and uh, all the other stuff. So. Yes, yeah, so I don't have to worry about that. I can just walk and Walk enjoy around it. and enjoy it. Maybe uh, every now and then I'll bring you in for uh, what you thought about things, but... I mean, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll be doing that. That's, I don't mind doing that's that. That's the that's the job. Of I don't course. have to. Ha I don't have to be taking pictures on child mode. Um, yeah. So <laughs> and then still getting blurry. Picture. I'm excited because not only is it gonna be a new location, which I hope has air conditioning this time. I hope so too. But Friday the Thirteenth is gonna be there. It's replacing the Lost Boys. And don't get me wrong, I love the Lost Boys, but yeah, Friday the Thirteenth I think is way more iconic. So I'm 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 excited to see what. Um, art forms they're gonna bring to the exhibit now. Yeah, we'll, and there's a lot to work with because there's. A ton of those films. Yeah, and the thing about this thing that made it so unique was it was it was an art gallery walkthrough of some fan made art pieces. Yeah, that represented the movie, which was cool. So I'm excited to see what they can come up with Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they come up with for that, and I'm really excited to go back through it again because it was so cool. It was fun, yeah. And I wish they would capitalize this time around on Chapter Two. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what they're gonna. I mean, I don't know if they're going to bring more stuff in like obviously i think the most impressive to me was the shining the shining was great and i think it had the biggest out of the stuff yeah because i had like three rooms yeah and uh and i think because that was the biggest movie out of all of them yeah so i'm excited to go back to the shining again because there was a lot of awesome set pieces yeah like from, the, uh, the the bloody elevator was cool with well, the um 237 yeah. room key cards that were coming out of it yeah so that was a really cool concept for an art piece um, the red rum, yeah, was awesome, beautiful. It was, it, but it was in the shape of the hedgehog bushes, which yeah. is an iconic scene in that movie. And of course, the here's Johnny scene, the window scene. I didn't go see the bear because I didn't see the bear last time. The bear was cool. Um, when you peek your eye through the hole, like the the, bear, the door just starts shaking, but that's about it. There's yeah. no one that pops up or anything, which I thought was cool. But yeah, we'll be there October fifth, and that's the plan. We're gonna ha try to have the entire crew there: uh, photographer, me and Sammy, and Tammy. Uh, everyone should show up, so it should be fun. Yeah. So catch us there. Catch us there. Uh, let's see. Adam's Family. Huh. You fan, are you a fan of the Adam's Family? I am. I, I'm not, like, a super fan of... But you know who they are. I know who they are. They, Wednesday is, like, one of the most iconic costumes. I feel like a lot of girls be dressing as Wednesday. and Yeah. Um, what's the guy's name? The, the father's name? Is that Cortez or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty cool. So they are getting a, finally a Funko line. Oh yes, I did see that they're getting a Funko line so just in time for their new movie. animated movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're releasing. A, I think uh, Universal is doing a uh, animated movie on the Adams Family, and yes. uh, a lot of people are backlashing it, saying, "Of course, obviously the original is better." But yeah, uh, the TV show is really cool. I'm gonna give it a try because I do like the cast for this. Yeah, uh, you got Finn Wolfhard, I think's in it. Yes. Um, uh, Corey, Corey Moretz, yeah, she's in it. Uh, there's a lot of people in it. So I gotta look at the cast again, but those are like the two I know for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. But I, I'm excited to see their Funkos uh, come out. Uh, this there's been a lot of Funkos being announced because of New York Comic Con. So yeah, and 
People are suckers for Funkos. I mean, look at me, dude. I got yeah. everywhere. Everywhere. Um, and so they're making a killing. So oh, yeah. Funko is like probably one of the number one toy companies right now. Yeah, they're making a killing. Because not only do they do that, but they do stuffed animals that Universal is actually selling at the event. for like. Oh, state. really? They're doing a Stay Puft uh, and, a, and a Slimer kind of like Funko stuffed animal. And then they do another uh, like collectibles where they're not Pops, but they kind of look like Pops in a way. But yeah. Pops, I think, is their big, the Funkos are their biggest... Funko Pops are their biggest things. Definitely, uh, and the, and the, they're at a low price. Yeah, they so come around like eight bucks, anywhere from eight to fifteen bucks. Yeah, so they're not super expensive. Yeah, so people can buy them. And then of course, like if you got stores like Hot Topic and Box Lunch, there's a lot of clearance ones they have yeah. all the time that usually go down to like anywhere from two to five bucks. Yeah, and so. people are like, oh, they're not going to usually just buy one. They're going to buy multiple in the same series, try to collect the entire series. Yeah, and there's some people – there's actually people who buy them and resell them for more because usually yeah. there's a lot of exclusives and stuff. Yeah, so they're, um, they're smart. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like though. Probably – I don't know if I'll get them um, only because yeah. I'm, I'm not a diehard Adam Family fan, yeah, but definitely. I know who they are. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, the last thing we're going to be talking about on the podcast today, Crawl, one of favorite Crawl. alligator movie. Yeah. Uh, it's getting a October 15th DVD release. With deleted scenes and an, an alternate, alternate opening. 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 I thought it was alternate ending. Alternate opening. Huh. So I'm curious to see what that's going to be like. Yeah, I don't know what the alternate opening would entail. Maybe, uh, well, it didn't look like her and her dad really got along until they met up again. You know what I mean? So maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see not. backlash of her and her dad and then cut to years later. Who knows? Maybe we'll see the alligators actually coming into the house. Yeah, but they kind of explained that when they came to the crawl system. Yeah, or maybe we'll see the dad getting injured. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll see the dad. Uh, maybe we'll see more scenes of the dad going to the house because it looked like he couldn't forget about the house. And yeah. Maybe we'll see him try to fix it up, and then he gets injured, and then he'll go from there. Um, yeah, I have no idea. But I, I, I'm interested in seeing what it's going to be. I'm going to definitely buy that one. I, I enjoyed that one more than I thought I was going to enjoy Same. it. Same. And, uh, you know, Sam Ramy. This is one of my favorite uh, horror directors and producers. So it was an absolute thriller. Yeah, and, and I, I, like I said, I enjoyed it way more than I thought I was. Yeah, and I was on the edge of my seat, face and shirt, face most of the movie. shirt, most of the movie. Yeah, yeah. I remember there was a couple scenes I got you jumping wise yeah. and stuff. I had thought I had really thought it said alternate ending, and I thought, oh, they're gonna die, like they should have died. I'll tell you right now, but I'm almost certain it said alternate opening, but we'll see. You wanted you, you wanted them to die. Oh, like how we talked about, like how they should have died like fifteen times in that damn movie. No, it's an alternate opening. Wow. Yep. Interesting. So yeah, we're definitely gonna check that out when it comes out. Yeah, we'll let you guys know what it is. Let you guys know. We'll probably talk about that on the pod, maybe on the Mindless Horror Podcast when it comes out. Yeah, we'll that is gonna do it today for the Mindless Horror Podcast. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, supporting yes. the podcast, supporting the content. Uh, if you guys see us uh, at any of the haunts this year, if you guys want to know what haunts we're going to be at, uh, look Watch at our haunt schedule. Haunt schedule yeah, we're we'll gonna, follow us. We're going to be probably adding some dates pretty soon that because we got some news about some stuff, but I won't say because it's not official yet. Yeah. But we're going to probably be adding some dates to some stuff uh, for you guys content-wise. Uh, I could say this one, though. Uh, October 30th. Um, John Glenn High School, the high school that we, me and you both went to. Yes. Uh, their drama department is throwing on a maze this year, and um, I'm going to talk to the teachers, see if we can do a just a walkthrough for me and you. Yeah. And that way we can kind of get the word out there for yeah. maybe next year, or just John Glenn drama in general, just to support our alma mater. Yeah, always got to support the alma mater. So it's a it's a local haunt we'll be adding. So October 30th, which is a I believe it's a Wednesday. You would know better than I would. I don't know my dates. It might be a Wednesday or Tuesday, but it, they're going to be doing a haunt uh, yeah. at John Glenn High School in Norwalk, California. So come out and support that. Come out. Uh, and you might see me and Sammy there. You might. Because uh, we're going to be performing in the improv show that they're going to be doing, too. Yes. So not only will we be there as guests, but we'll be there as performers as well. And uh, we'll be probably the least funny people up there. That's not true. We're going to win. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's on, though. It's on, though. I don't yeah. know. Me and you, dog. Me and you were funny separate, but together it's a whole different story. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for supporting everything. Thank you so much for the Madhouse uh, growth for yeah. 600 subscribers. By the end of haunt season, we're hoping to get to 700. But if we we'll don't, what happens? It's not a big deal to us. Yeah. We're just thankful to be where we're at right now. And we're thankful for you. Yeah. So by the way, 
uh, what was it? Sunday we announced our 600 subscriber giveaway. Yeah. Definitely enter that because we're going to be announcing the winner on Saturday's Not Scary Farm yeah. vlog. Because uh, we want to give you guys an awesome uh, $25 AMC gift card. So yeah. definitely enter that giveaway. Uh, comment and like below in the video. Your follow us. Favorite, yeah, follow us. But like it, comment and like below on your uh, favorite horror movie on the video. Follow us on social media. What's our social media, Sammy? Let's go. Knights of Horror Twitter. Is that Knights of Horror Instagram? There it is. Yes, I did it right. And uh, on Knights of Horror Twitter. Uh, we're gonna be sharing the video. We shared the video, so we just need you to like and comment for below for the entry for that. So that's yeah. two entries, and then the thumbnail that we shared on our Instagram, like and comment below on that, and that's your third entry. You have three opportunities to win a twenty-five dollar AMC gift card donated by my mom. Yes. Um, so thank you for uh, that, mom. Thank you, thank you. And w that is gonna do it. Like I said, this time that's gonna do it. Yeah. For the Milestone Podcast, we will see you guys next week. See ya.